Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Treasure Adventure Game. Today I'm actually trying out yet another new sound recording method, and this one seems to be the best so far that I've managed to figure out. It's not perfect yet, and I'll get to why. So, read this sign first. Alright, so we're in Samora. We still have earthquakes, though. So we'll poke around here a little bit. Normally my recording method includes me listening to the audio through the speakers as I'm playing while I have a headset on and I'm sitting here talking into the headset microphone but now I have the regular uh, game sounds and stuff coming out of the headset so there's no double background noise effect going on Darbar to seek answers about old times. Sure. Okay, maybe I'm not. I guess I'm going to. Oh, I guess we're not. Sorry. Right, long ago, humans and animals actually lived and worked together. Animals could well wield all kinds of elemental magic, and humans had a strong grasp of science and the laws of nature. For a long time, they were able to work together, combining science and magic to great create glorious cities. But groups of humans and animals began to distrust one another. Why? Well, there were many reasons. Regardless of why, wars began to erupt in the world. Peace was eventually gained, but it was too late. The violence and strife had weakened the evil demon who sought the destruction of the world. You probably know the rest. I'm sure you humans haven't completely forgotten your past. No, I, we remember that part. Or at least the fact that an evil demon destroyed the world. Or at least, uh... Can't remember his name. The guy who the museum remembered and ran around and got the artifacts. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, saying about the sound recording, the only other issues is a little bit of feedback. Apparently the um, connections are not properly shielded, so the microphone and headset are getting picked up somewhere along the lines by each other. But, oh well. It's a good enough recording for my purposes. I'm, I was going to say, I really hope this boosts us up in the air. Otherwise that could be particularly bad. die on the way through, I guess that's uh, the bright th side there. Ah, wait, we got a puzzle. Although I'm pretty sure I just screwed up said puzzle. This is gonna fall, I'm not gonna be able to move it from there. Can I? I cannot. Well, let's see if we actually needed that done or not. Maybe we didn't. Maybe I didn't screw anything up. Worst case, I'll get a corner or two here. Okay, I really have no clue what that was for. Oh, anyway, I'm assuming that opened this thorn door here. Go me. screwed up there for a second. Fortunately, however, I did not. Alright, that might not have been the intended way to do this, but uh, it worked. Okay, moving on again. This time I won't fall. Just let me get that one coin. something here. Okay, I apparently don't have a way to grow this plant. I'm confusing a Lundra and a uh, treasure adventure game now, apparently. Ah, oh, I want the other coin. Oh, I got the coin down here. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be like, uh, an untitled story where I can't do platforming segments to save my life. Unfortunately, for all you viewers, all well, two of you, yeah, I apologize. It's probably the last time I try this and fail horribly on screen. Oof. Oh, damn it. Alright, so this will be a nice little montage, accelerated sped up portion here with me failing and horribly like an idiot over and over again. Unless I happen to make it here, which I doubt. Okay, so I guess it's not going to be a little montage segment of me failing horribly. Oh crap, that's not a friendly one. I swear his eyes were white a second. Okay, they, they totally were white. And I'm totally about to die. Please don't be aggressive. Please don't be aggressive. Okay. Name Mel. Greetings, stranger. I'm the mayor of Samora. Sorry, I can't really talk about a lot of my mind. For a general storm, afraid you're out of luck. It's on the other side of this bridge, which has fallen into disrepair thanks to those ground quakes. Currently, like everyone in town is evacuated and up to me to rebuild. But I'm surrounded by incompetence. Hey, that sounds like capsized. I'll never be able to get the bridge fixed at this rate. By the way, if you run into a roach on the other side of the bridge, ask him why the repairs are taking so long. So I wonder if the bridge is actually going to fall through here or if there's just pieces missing. Apparently there's a lot missing. Alright. And yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and drop down. What the heck is that? Oh, there's another one of those wispy things that I don't know what it does. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop down, save, get my health back. Actually, I'm wondering if that's like health tanks or something? backtracking a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this off screen, so be back in a moment. Hey, look, I actually made it up here. Yay! Alright, let's go kill this friggin' not-friendly bug. Okay, but on the other hand, we may just jump over him and run away. And talk to the pirate pill bug. Alright, sorry about my brother down there. He's a little, a little slow and doesn't care much for strangers. You're like General store, you're out of luck. It's on the other side of the broken bridge. I'm trying to get over there too. The mayor's an old coot, can't seem to get anything done. I don't have time for that, and it looks like neither do you. I know for a fact there is another way over there just past this gate. If you can figure out how to open it, I'll get us both where we need to go. Alright, I'll get another little mini side quest type deal. And I gotta get my little bird all over someplace. I can remember how to use this thing. There we go. And it can't go that way. I really wish the bird could walk, although I guess it's kind of nice I can, uh, grab onto the floor. Oh, really? So will that make me heavy enough to go backwards through it? Nah, no such luck. Definitely not as bad as down. And at least holding the rock, I can slide along, and it's, yeah, it's actually a little easier. Alright, how do I get. No, I don't want to pick the back up. I also don't want to fly into spikes. Strange. Oh well. Well, that gate 
it should be open now. Apparently just holding left and jumping works, and I was really overthinking that earlier. Let's avoid his brother. He's just a little slow, and yeah, we totally didn't need to jump down and run back around again. Whoa, I did it. Damn straight, Cray. What do you expect? He's with a boy, little boy with a paper pirate hat, a sailor hat, and a bird on his head to fail at a task you give him? Well, uh, anyway, see you around. I thought you were going to show us the way. I guess uh, we got to figure it out on our own. Get cheese, though. I guess that's cool. I believe if I push this out of the way, I can come back up there if I need to for any reason. This is the secret air way, or pathway he was talking about. I'm not going to jump down yet. I'll do that after the bridge is fixed. I'll grab those coins. Oh, there's fire up there. Amos the Roach. The mayor tasked me with fixing this bridge. I rebuilt it and hooked up this windmill so we could lift it into place. But I forgot that there isn't wind any inside. You're in a cave and expecting wind. Under the waterfall, that could have worked perfectly. Yeah, you should have thought about it more. You think? Yeah, let's check out what's down here. Oh, we got some. Uh huh. Oh. Sidetracking. Let's see what we got in the general store. Can't believe the ge this general store has been abandoned. I traveled for days to get here. I want to buy a new stove. By the way, have you noticed that if you move an object around, but leave the area and come back, sometimes the object moves back to its original position. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, we have noticed that. Switches and stuff stay pressed. Alright, so we got a block puzzle. Passage, cool. Got a whole bunch of money. One down. Two down. Oh, almost. And two down. Yeah, I couldn't make that run. I don't know, so how do I get that? But apparently I just crawl. Alright, going right won't work. Going left might not work either. Am I missing something here? No, uh, maybe I am. Aha, no I'm not. I'm double checking if I got wait, am, am I supposed to move this down? food, but yeah, I've got some bananas and I can't eat currently. Haha! The sale. Now we have two of the three items required to be an adventurer. But we should still probably help out these Samoa Sim guys. I have a feeling we're gonna end up borrowing this guy's stove. Quakes have been opening all sorts of natural geysers in this area. Some of them just spew air, but like some here. But some, like in here, are spewing fire. It was enough to drive most people out of Samora. But I've stayed behind for scientific purposes. I'm trying to discover new ways to harness natural energy sources. Hmm. Well, this was the fire. Goes down, we'll go ahead and Let's get back up here. And 
and that's actually going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Treasure Adventure Game. Next time, we're going to figure out how to power that windmill, or more sp uh, specifically. I've totally recorded this episode with my desktop up and icons not hidden. I will have to be fixing that, but <laughs> also it's on fun, I just realized that. You guys won't see it, so I'm going to talk to myself like an idiot here for a moment. But, uh, yeah, we're going to figure out how to get some natural geysers to power that windmill. Have a good day.